If you're running Unify Protect and you want to view your cameras on a TV or a monitor, then the obvious solution is a Unify Viewport. But what many people don't realize is there are better alternatives and you may even already own one. Hi, Q from Home Network Solutions and in this video, I'm comparing the Unify Viewport to the Apple TV 4K for Unify Protect. I'll also briefly discuss the NVIDIA Shield for those of you that don't really like Apple. Unify Viewport is Ubiquiti's simplest way to get the Unify Protect cameras onto a TV or monitor. You plug it in with PoE, plug in the HDMI, assign it to the Unify Protect, and that's basically it. Once it's adopted, the Viewport automatically pulls camera feeds from your Protect system and displays them in a clean multi-camera layout. It boots fast, it's stable, and it's designed to just sit there doing its job. The problem is that once you go beyond passive viewing, the Unify viewport runs out of road pretty quickly. Okay, so it does exactly what it's designed to do, but there are two clear limitations you should be aware of. First, it's not interactive. The viewport is a live only display. You can't zoom into footage, scrub the timeline, or do anything else you can do on the normal Protect app. Second, the price is hard to justify for what it offers. For a single purpose display device, the viewport isn't cheap. You're paying for simplicity and reliability, not features. Once you compare it to alternatives like Apple TV or Nvidia Shield, which offer far more control and flexibility for less money, the value equation starts to look less convincing. So Apple TV is definitely more capable than the viewport, but I need to be clear that Apple TV app is a cut down version of Unify Protect. What you do get is the key stuff that matters for a TV experience. You can bring cameras up to the full screen, you can switch layouts quickly, and you can scrub the recording timeline to review footage. Getting Unify Protect running on Apple TV is generally straightforward. You plug in the Apple TV, connect it to the network, ideally over Ethernet, and install the Unify Protect app from the App Store. Once you open the app, you sign in with a Unify account, select your Protect system, and that's it. Your cameras, layouts, and recordings are immediately available on the TV. Ideally, as well, you'll disable the auto sleep on the Apple TV so it doesn't time out and give you a screensaver. With Apple TV, you can view any Unified Protect site on your account. Homes, offices, remote locations, all from the same TV. You're not locked in to whichever recorder happens to be on the local network. And for those of you that aren't fans of Apple, the Nvidia Shield is a solid alternative. So which device is best for your needs? Honestly, it comes down to how you plan to use it. For business or commercial environments, the Unify Viewport is a solid choice. It's stable, always on, and ideal where a permanent live feed is required and user interaction isn't. For home users, the Apple TV arguably makes more sense, not just because it's cheaper, because the app experience is more comprehensive. And of course, it's still an Apple TV, so you can switch straight over to Netflix or any other streaming app whenever you want to. I hope you found this video useful. Please do consider subscribing and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.